Hey, folks, it's Frithgar here. How you doing? Welcome back to Farming Simulator 19 here on the Hagenstead map. Let's get back to reliving the glory days. Which, i got to be honest, is bitterly disappointing. So let me just drop that one down here a second, and I'll unhitch it. And then we'll pull that one out. Because we, we still, we still want to run some tests on this one. I'm, I'm wondering if maybe we can figure out a way... I don't really want to sell both of the small tractors and just get one of those tractors because that's not going to quite be enough on the farm. So I think we may not be able to ha you know, realize our dream of running a crone swadro up and down the fields at the moment. We're going to need a bigger tractor. Is this one able to do it? Because it said 25. I mean, maybe we could do it with this one. Maybe we could. I don't really know. Um, let's, let's put you up on there. And I'm just going to go H again. I'm not going to do any other changes. I'm simply just going to put you going. You're not doing it either. I don't know how heavy this thing is, but... I'm officially a little bit disappointed with that. That's only do it. That's, that's, even this one can't pull it. Right, well, there seems to be an issue with that one. There seems to be an issue with the mod. Yeah, I, I can't even do it, like, without the hired help. I was wondering if maybe it was the hired help that was the issue, but it's not. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let me... I wonder if it's how far down it gets dropped. Anyway, th th that's not working. That one definitely isn't working properly. So that can go back. That's uh, a little bit of a waste of money, unfortunately. So I'm going to return that one. Yes. Okay. And I'm going to go back in here. We'll have a look at the other one. So we have got some other options here. We got this one here that is a 14.8 meter spread. That one's a 12 and a half meter. That one there is 14. Uh, the others are lower. Now, the only other one that I would possibly consider would be the Merge Max, because you can do 9 meters up one side, then it turns around and does 9 meters back down again. It does 23k up across the field, which is quite a considerable speed. Uh, we got this one that does 18k. And it covers 14 meters. So this one goes a lot faster. But it kind of like you, you've got to allow two passes in order to be able to get one lot in. But then you've only got to do one pass on its two passes. Which is making me want to try this one out. 5,600. It's expensive. Requires 140 horsepower. So in theory our machine should, you know, our little tractor should be able to tow it. 23k it means our little tractor is gonna be literally going flat out up and down across the field let's try it let's try it we got a little bit of money at the moment we have got just enough money to be able to do this so let me get this one back down to the shop a second and we will try out the merge max and see what that one can do in the field maybe that is what we need racing up and down the field in order to get everything running i don't really know but I'm thinking that this could be the key to a very successful new partnership with straw. Because our next two crops after this one, we got straw coming in as well. And, you know, straw does stand to produce us a little bit of profit there. It's not massive amounts, but it's certainly making the difference. I, it, it will make the difference between um, us having negative numbers and no negative numbers now we start off with we've got steering assist on the back wheels on this machine which is absolutely fantastic that's what we want um i don't want this the only thing is is where the hired help will automatically put the straw going into the central location on this one like the central drop off if it does that then it's not as good that's the only issue that I will have with this one, is if it is going to do that. So I want to unfold it. It should have three options for straw spread. 
it should have straw spread to the left, straw spread to the right, and straw spread to center position. And we're gonna want um, we're gonna want straw spread to the left. So let's go and have a look. Uh, right, uh, I want to go there. Right, toggle work mode, lower merger, fold merger. So control Y to toggle it. Uh, selected work mode to the left at the moment. That's actually where I want it. To the right. And then that one sends it into the middle. So I want to keep this on the left-hand side. That's where we're going to want that. So I shouldn't need to do anything else. I should just bring it up here. Like this. And that should be where it goes. I'm going to start it about there. And I'm going to press H on that bit right there. So it'll put those two rows and dump them out there. And then it should get up to the top, turn round, and then on his next pass back down, put the other two rows back in on top of it. So it's going to do the same as what the other one did. 23k up across the field. So this bit here is absolutely fine. I know that this is working. I just need to know whether or not the other tracks can pull it. So I'm going to let this one turn around and get him lined up so we can see exactly where it's going to be putting the straw when it comes back down through. Oh, that is fantastic. That is absolutely brilliant. It will actually pick up the row that it's just done and move it back ever so slightly, but gather in anything else that might need to be gathered in. So I'm going to pick that one up and drop it back down over here like this. Unhitch you there and move you over to this side. Final test here, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go to you. Final test. Can the Fiat 1300 pull that merger? If it can, that merger is here to stay. That means it will be able to pick up a huge amount of straw. Now, it does mean that this tractor is going to be going pretty much flat out all the time when it's using it. Don't care about that. I don't care about that in the slightest. We've got plenty of fuel. Fuel is cheap. It doesn't matter. We just need it to keep moving. So long as it can keep going, keep on trucking, I don't really care what it's doing. Right. Let's bring you up around here. Like that. And straighten you out a little bit. Okay. I want to try and get this one as straight as possible lined up with it so that it's doing where it was already doing and uh, I'm going to go, nope, I don't want to press H at all, do I? I want to do that I want to hook, hook that one on then I want to press H and that's doing it it's not quite hitting the 23k, the tractor doesn't quite have enough power to make it go all of that distance but it's doing enough. So I'm going to go into here a second. I go into the garage. And I'm going to hit that one. And I'm going to return it. Yes. So that one's gone. Which means it's out of the way. Down the bottom end down here. And then our merge max is going to go over. It is going to go over the little bit that we've already done. I don't care about that. I really, really don't care if it's going to go over stuff we've already done. You're going to go up like that. So now what are you going to do? Why are you going that way round? Right, I'm not quite sure what it thinks it's doing. I know what it's doing. It's because I've put it, like, in the middle of the field. And these things always get confused when you go to put them in the middle of a the field. They really don't like it. It really just completely throws them. 100%. So I'm going to drop you there, like that. Quite know why you had to go and leave a bit behind, but you did. And then I'm going to go to this tractor, and I'm going to go and get my rake. Not my rake, my forage wagon. And I'm hoping that that tractor there will turn left when it gets to the top end of the field. It probably won't. It will probably turn the other way and come back down across here because, you know, it's hired help. And we all know that hired help does not like to play along and, and, and do the things that it's supposed to do. So let's hook you in there and go off on a little bit of a drive this way. Which way is it going to go? I know it's going to go the wrong way. Oh, it's not. 
It's not going the wrong. It's not going in the wrong direction, right? This has put four rows into one up through here, right? And the merge max is now doing pretty much the same. I'm going to let it go and give the treatment to it. Look how fast we now pick the straw. This is brilliant. This is absolutely fantastic. And the forage wagon is picking it all up as well at the moment. It's got enough width on it to be able to gather it, which is absolutely fantastic as well. So he's merge maxing all the way down through there, which means that we'll then be able, like, we can put this one going in the field. And then we'll be able to whiz up and down and gather up all the straw in next to no time. With the capacity on this one of 50,000, that means that we get through these fields in just, you know, uh, minutes instead of hours. That's, that's basically what we're doing. We're, we're now down to minutes instead of hours which is absolutely fantastic. It does look like it leaves the odd little bit left behind here and there, but honestly, I don't really care about that. That's fine. So that's something that I can live with. I really, really don't mind about that, because, I mean, you look at it there, the way that that's moving at the moment. It's only just moving over a little bit of stuff. The reason I'm leaving it run is because there's two rows over the other side there that I'm kind of hoping it's going to be able to put both of those into one pass. Um, just to make my life a little bit easier. And I'm going to go over here. While that one's still doing what it's doing, I'm going to run over this way. And we'll see if we can actually pay attention this time to how much we get from selling our full load in here. So we're getting 116 per 1,000 litres. So we get all of these thousands of litres empty out. That one's going up there. I think that might actually say hired help finished. Unless it counts the straw that it's going to run back on, you know, that it's already turned. It may do that. All right, and while I can see it up there, he's turning round. He's doing his thing. I need to go over to it anyway. Because uh, I, I need to kind of... Right, he is doing his thing over here. Uh, 6,141 euros right there gone into the kitty. So we're now up to nine grand. That's excellent. That is absolutely wonderful. We will buy this one and we will buy the forage wagon once we have got the money to do so. But right now we don't have the money to do so. But this is brilliant. We've now got the Merge Max and it is working perfectly up and down the fields. I just have, I have just like come back in for a new recording run. I'm just going to do a pass up through here so that I can put these couple of rows in together and then we will move this one on up to the next field i have got in here something new and exciting on the small tractors we have now got available a bureau without a cab which is a very strange looking bureau compared to what we used to get but yeah we, we've got that one there you can have the different wheel brands you can have different Oh, you've got wide tyres. That's Mitas, Trailborg, Standard and Wide. So we, we don't have, like, a lot of options with that one. But I've got the Bura in there, like that. We've also got Ridgy Track. That bad boy right there, which looks absolutely awesome. Fantastic little tractor. That is 80 kilowatts, 68 horsepower, that tractor. It has no upgrades available. That is a very small tractor. A uh, slightly bigger one, there's a um, kind of tractor type thing. I don't even know what that is. It's, it's, it's like a tractor. It's designed for hills. It's designed for hill work with the Alps DLC, the Alpine Farming Pack. That's what these are all from. Um, so, yeah, I've got the Alpine Farming Pack. And by the time this episode goes out, you will already have seen... The Alpine Farming Pack in action. I will already have been doing some stuff with it. Um, now, what I'm going to do next... Uh, you know, I don't think I'm going to get up through there. So, I'm just going to fold that one up a minute. Then, I'm going to go back over here and grab this bad boy right here. And we're going to go back into the field. Uh... Do we? Yes, we are. We're, we're going to go back into the field and we're just going to get a little bit more of this straw. I'd like to finish this field up and 
I see you know. No, no, no. We, we can leave that field for a second. It's not going to hurt if we leave that field for just a minute. Uh, we'll go on up to this one up the top. And we will start gathering that one up. Now, I'm going to have to go round the edge manually with our vehicle right there with the, um, the new rake first before I do anything else. And I'm thinking maybe twice round the edge to do that. So I'm just going to bring you to there like that. And then I'm going to flip over to this one. And I'm going to do some stuff in there. There's another thing that I've got as well, which... We'll probably start bringing into gameplay fairly soon, just not quite yet. And that is the new working speed mod that I just found. I don't know how new it is on... Well, it looked like it was fairly new. So your standard, you basically you can go plus or minus 7 kilometers an hour um, over what the base game standard speed is for the machine so i can set if i want to that working speed there to 19k which is 7k above the standard 12 that a plow is set at so that i i actually really like this idea because what it's going to do is it's going to give us the ability to go a lot faster with the base game machines i'm not then going to have to spend absolutely ages hunting down uh, mods that can run a little bit faster in the fields to suit the gameplay style that i would have used for this map um back when i was playing fs13 so that's generally what i did was I'd get something that I liked and then I'd hunt around and try and find a mob that could run a little bit faster. And that's where I first started learning about how to modify mods myself was by going and uh, modifying them to change around like that. And whilst it's fun being able to modify the mods and it, it, it's quite a handy little trick and so on, I don't really want to spend all my time doing that. Right, so if I can just go and change the base game machines, that would be absolutely fan jolly tastic. So that's what I'm going to do now. My plan here, I suppose, I don't really need to do anything for this this side down here. So what I'll do is I'll do one pass down through here, and then I will do two passes across the bottom headland which is basically just going to give us a straight run along that bottom line. And then when I've done that, I'll do a single pass back up the other side of the field, just to pick everything up down there. So I'm just going to do that a minute, and then I'm going to turn this one round, and I'm going to do two passes along this end run down here. Just swivel you around like that. Uh, lower that one down there and start you going across here. So I'm just going to run that one along there and then I'm going to turn around at the other end and I'm going to go back through and do that again, going in the opposite direction. And that will give us a nice clean run along the end with plenty of space for our machine to be able to turn round. And then when I've done that, I can just come up this end uh, i was gonna say i can leave the hired help running i'm not gonna leave the hired help running just yet what i'll do is first before i do that i'll run down here gather this up with my forage wagon that i've got and then after i've gathered it up with my forage wagon then i will set the hired help working up and down this field and just sort of doing all the land work you know i don't even need to do a run over the other end can just do that like that bring you over here run back down to that end now because i've sort of moved this away from this side here which is going to keep this nice and clear there's a little tiny bit that is left right there in a dip and i think there was another little spot that it left over there somewhere nothing major this is not going to cause us any problems um Actually, I want to be up over here. Now, technically, you shouldn't really go driving straight across the field like this. Um, you mess up the windrows. It makes it more difficult. But because I'm going to be doing the field with this one anyway, you know, it wouldn't really matter. It's, it's not really going to make any big difference, is it? Right. And I bring you up here like that. And then run you down this side. 
was thinking I only need to do a single pass here, but I will do another pass just to make sure that I've got all of that little bit of the row there gathered all up and out of the way and looking neat and tidy. So if I go there like that and then spin you round, let's not jackknife that one too much, shall we? Let's bring you in round like this and there right we've got a huge great big lump of straw just there on that side that's fine that doesn't matter and then if i go up here i'll stop this vehicle just at the top end of this field right here as soon as i've done this bit here like that there we go so we can stop you pick you up and move you out the way if i just bring you over here like this and I can set our hired help going in just a minute. I'm not going to set it going just yet. We're going to go up here first and we're going to gather up this line. Just this huge, great, big, massive, great big lump of straw that we've got lying down there. And all the rest of the stuff from this end. So this is, this is good. I like this. I mean, we, we've left a tiny little bit left over there, but there, there wasn't much left over. And we can gather this up. Then we'll head back down the bottom and we'll carry on working down there. And I can also get going with some planting down there at the same time. So I'll just pick this one up and I'll run up to this end. We've already got 11,000 litres of straw on board. So this is all extra money. This, this straw coming in this is, this is absolutely brilliant. It's a little bit of extra money. It's going to help us to be able to go and buy more shiny things that we might want and really i suppose the most important shiny thing that i want right now whilst i do want more tractors and stuff and i think tractors would be absolutely brilliant i'm still leaning strongly towards buying another field before i go buying anything else i think a field would be the better option out of everything like of all the options that i've got here for things that i can do I think another field is the best one that I can do right now. I'm going to grab that little spot there. Then I'm going to run down to the other end of the field rather than hopping down this side because there's a little spot of straw halfway down the hill as we head out down that way. And that little spot of straw, I know it's there and it really irritates me. And I've noticed it a few times when we've gone past it. So I'm just going to um, whiz on by it right here. Let me just stop you there a second and skip over to you. Right, you go to the left on this one. So if I drive up there, he's, he's going to be on sort of the wrong side. You know, technically, I should just change it. We'll, we'll change it over and we'll, we'll have it so it's pushing to the right-hand side rather than the left-hand side. So let's go here. We're selected work mode left. If I go control Y like that, selected work mode right. Fantastic. And now if I drop him in... It's left a little bit there. I have done the 1.7 update now on my game. I don't know if that's affecting the hired help a little bit, anything like that. I haven't actually updated every single one of my mods, uh, although this merger isn't a mod, is it? Um, there are a few mods that, uh, like the, the DLC packs, I haven't updated all of them. So far, I've not noticed any issues, but I do notice that this one, the driver doesn't pause, or I've, I've just noticed now. I don't know if he was pausing before when he was coming in to drop down, but he's definitely not pausing at the moment. Like, you watch him come in there. Oh, he is now. Now he's pausing. He didn't last time. I, I said go, and he, he didn't pause at all. But there, that's putting four rows into one. So we'll leave you carry on doing that. We will carry on and drive down over here. It's not going to take him long to do that field. And to get those two little spots right there that were left over from that huge, great big patch. Somewhere down here, there is a tiny little blip of straw on the road. Ah, there it is. I knew it was here somewhere. It's bugging me because it, it's been there for ages. So, right, we've got the... Well, it may have been there for ages. It's... It, it, I noticed it not that long ago, and it was definitely in my last uh, sort of last session of recording. I noticed it there, and I thought I need to do something about that. That's that's going to really bug me if I leave that there. Is that bit picked up? 
I'm going to get the, this one here. I'm going to fill this trailer up. And then once this trailer's filled up, I'm going to get the seed drill out of the shed. And I'm going to start drilling, I think, the smallest field. I'll manually go round the edge myself with that one. Because the, um, despite the fact that the AI vehicle extension, we've run some extensive tests on that one now. And we know that that works quite well, actually, with uh, the tractors going around the edges of the field. There's been some vast improvements on that mod. But it's still not quite up to par with uh, like going around the edge of that really small field. I think it got stuck, didn't it, a couple of times? I, I, you know, I don't actually remember properly, but... Um, so I'm going to manually just go around the really tiny fields once, maybe twice, and then we'll let the hired help carry on and do the rest of that field by itself. Shouldn't have any issues doing it while we go on and pick up a little bit more straw up here. So I've got all of that. I did not think I was going to get that entire row into this machine. Now there's a couple little spots of straw which I'm really wanting to gather up today that urge quite strongly today to make sure I get all of the straw so that's what I will do every little spot every blade there and that is 100% so we run this back down here get this one emptied out then our little tractor that we've got in the shed down there we can go and use that one to get started on the field um tractors in here you know i don't remember i know that we've got a mower in here there's definitely a mower that we've got if you look in that one is this one the alpine farming pack is that little beauty right there 9k standard look at that is that not an absolutely magnificent little machine absolutely fantastic you got wide tires on here you got spiked rollers that you can use these are quite common um, and then you got the wide spike. I've seen a lot of videos of these things being used with wide spiked rollers. Um, incidentally, I seen a lot of comments about these way back when in FS17, I think it was. Um, and people saying that it's completely unrealistic because no farmer would ever have something like that. It's too small. Um, it's never going to take off. What a complete waste of money. And I'm... Um, this was from people who were unfamiliar with farming practices in um, the Alps and other mountainous regions. And that statement, that broad statement made me chuckle because whenever I have seen the broad statement put online of no farmer would ever, immediately I can find examples of two dozen farmers doing something like that frequently and often and this, this is another such an example like it's it's the sort of thing that ne ne never say that no farmer would do something because there's always farmers that will and in this particular case it was um even more nonsensical because of just how many farmers do operate those sorts of machines and you've got small farms in the alps it's it's just a really really common thing uh, right, now, I need to change... We're barley next. We've got to do barley next. So I'm going to bring this one out over here. And we're going to bring that right in there. Fertilizer and seed. All going in nicely. I'll do twice round. Just to be absolutely sure. Go right over to the end over here. Like that. Um... What else was I looking? Oh, yeah, uh, I was, because I've been saying about how the plowing um, requirement on the map. I think we've relived enough glory days just for a moment. We're going to take a breather. We're going to have a little bite to eat. And then we can get back to it nice and refreshed and relive a few more glory days. There should be some names coming up right now that you can have a look at. It's names of people who are in the Great Book of Names, people who have supported this channel. And I thank you from the bottom of my heart. So if you've enjoyed this episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.